So a couple of years ago, I was listening to a podcast that Gary Vaynerchuk had, and he was being asked, what's the, one of the most important skills? And he said, it's self-awareness. What does that really mean to have this self-awareness? It means not just as a business owner that you're aware of just your things that you do and what you don't do and, and that kind of thing and how you behave and how you show up. It was also, what are you really good at? What are the things that you're really good at, which is hard as a business owner. It's, sometimes it's easier for us, I know it is for me, and maybe for you to just be able to look at the things you're not good at, be able to clearly say, hey, I'm not very good at this, and it's harder to come up with what am I actually good at. So one of the things that I'm working through, even myself, that I wished I'd learned years ago when I started my business, the thing that I'm learning now is to list out what what are the things that I'm good at? What are the important things that I can do as a business owner and have self-awareness around that so that I can build the structure of my company around the things that I'm really good at? And in fact, part of what was really eye-opening and part of this awareness to the whole process was gathering my team around and having them either contribute to that list or validate the list of the things that I, they're saying that I'm good at. And so what we determined is a couple of those are big relationships. What's really important for me is to go out and build huge, big relationships with big companies, with influential people who can have an impact on the business, that's important for me to go out and do, and, and it's something I'm really good at. One of the others is big money, to bring in big money into the company. I can make the biggest impact in bringing some of the biggest dollars to the company, right? So big relationships, big money, and then the big vision. I started the company, and so I have this vision of what's possible, and you do for your business. And when you're really good at that, when you're really good at big relationships, big money, and the big vision, that can really impact the business. And so I started to become really aware that these are the skill sets, and these are the things that I'm, that I'm good at. And there's others as well. While I know how to do other things in my business, in fact, I know how to do most of the things in my business, that's really irrelevant to what I'm good at. What I'm good at is in this lane, the things that I can make an impact on the business. And what I realized is by not focusing 100% of my effort, and I've learned the hard way in this, but by not focusing 100% of my effort on those, I become what John Maxwell calls the law of the lid. And we all experience this in our business, personal life, probably in most areas of our life, is we sort of get to a certain level, right? And we hit this lid, this ceiling, and we become the constraint for our department or our business or anything we're trying to do. And so the path that I'm on right now is that I am, I've now identified that this is a role, sort of a chief visionary officer that is focused on big relationships, big money, and big vision. And now my goal is to not step aside, but to step up and to elevate myself up to that position, which is hard to do as a business owner, especially if you've been building it the whole time. I remember seeing business owners that I admired. I still, I still do. I still admire them. I still see what they're doing. And I'm like, how are they able to grow such a a big company with massive revenue, massive amount of time, huge impact. And they're able to do it in such a way that they're not stressed by the business. That it's not the business isn't running them. What I realized is they've elevated themselves into a role that, and they're self-aware to know this is where they're really good, and this is where other people are really good, and they've built an organizational chart around that. And that's what's important for you to do in your business. And as Maxwell said, the law of the lid. So if you don't remove yourself out, like that's what I'm trying to do. If you had a visual, like remove myself out of the way, so others can rise up, and that sort of pushes me into this role, that is one of the best things that a business owner can do. And it is probably the epitome of having huge self-awareness. So another example of that is that like there are lots of things that not only do I know how to do, but I even really enjoy them in our company. So for example, sales. You know, when I started this business and probably much like you and your business, you are the salesperson. It's you, it's only you. Until you can hire somebody else anyway, it's gonna be you. And it should be for a long time, it should be you. Sales should be one of the last things you hire. Just because I know how to do it and just because I'm good at it doesn't mean I should continue to do it. In fact, I love the energy I get when I can hop on a phone call or get into a presentation and share with people how the impact of what our products and services do for them and their business, I get a ton of energy from that. And just because I'm good at it and love to do it doesn't mean I should do it. I can make the biggest impact in that top role. There's lots of other things. I love creating educational pieces for our company. I love being able to document that out, get in front of the camera and teach the business principles that help us be successful to make the impact on other business owners. But again, just because I can doesn't mean mean I should. I remember hearing one of the Hall of Fame football players, Tim Brown, when he came and spoke at Connect years ago, he was talking about one of his very last seasons in the NFL. And he was he was playing the Dallas Cowboys and, and Emmett Smith was on the field and they, they met in the middle of the field at the end. And Emmett said something to him about retiring and that Emmett was going to retire. Tim Brown said there was some interaction about why he was going to retire. And as they were parting, he said, just because I can doesn't mean I should. Meaning just because I can still play doesn't mean I should. And that was the deciding thing for him to decide
decide that it was time to retire. Just because he could still play doesn't mean he should. So for him, it became an eye-opening thing, a huge self-awareness that it was time. And so for me and my business, it's the same. Just because I can do something and I'm good at it doesn't mean I should and that I should continue. In fact, for you, the advice I would give you in that through my own experience and what I'm going through right now is just because you can do something in your business and just because you're really good, that self-awareness skill is so impactful that if you can step aside and you can rise yourself up and give that role to somebody, make it their thing to do because they're really good at it, it actually shows a tremendous amount of self-awareness and strength, not a weakness in business. So if this was helpful for you, go ahead and like and subscribe to this video. Make sure you share it out to somebody. In fact, anybody that's getting ready to launch a business or grow a business, this is super impactful and helpful. Again, I wish I'd learned this years ago, but I'm going through this journey now and sharing this with you that self-awareness is one of the greatest skills in your own business.